Okay, folks, welcome back to Silent Hunter 3. We have not yet reached the target area. As you know, we've been slightly harassed uh, by the Royal Air Force. They have been giving us attention that has been unwanted. Unfortunately, we cannot take legal action against them. You know, basically restraining order or anything like that. So the rest of this episode is probably just going to be us trying to get to the target area. Uh, we're kind of far away still. On top of that, we're going to have to kind of go through what... There's probably going to be traffic. And some of it's going to be military traffic. If they're protecting their convoys, it's going to be military traffic. And then we're going to be in an area that's probably going to be highly patrolled. So no matter how you cut it, this episode is probably just going to be me dodging a lot of planes... And maybe some surface ships. Um, we'll see. There's the biggest problem, though, right now. Is this. Yes, sir. If you don't know what that means, let me show you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a cook boat behind us. Uh, anyway, as you can guess, I'm not too happy about this. This is not... Not a good thing. Yeah, yeah, you're not too happy about it either. Are you? On the other hand, I have started reading the novel, uh, the sci-fi novel, The Martian. So I'll probably have a lot of reading material while this sub is going on its way. I wish it'd stop doing that. You know what that means. That means there's a, a, a ship over there. Anyway. Can you see anything, guys? Yes, sir. No. Also, uh... I'm, I do have a cough drop again, so you're going to be hearing me with that in my mouth. But at least, hopefully, I won't be coughing too much. On the other hand, as you can see... This weather means we can actually man our, our deck guns and our flat gun. So the next time a plane comes, we're still diving. I'm not going to try to get us killed. Yeah, no. Yes, sir. Deck under keel is four, four. At least as we go out into the uh, channel, it will get deeper. So uh, that we got that going for us. So I'll see you guys uh, when something happens, of importance or not, if something happens, I'll see you guys, okay? Oh, I wish it stopped doing that. It's kind of giving away there's something over there. Okay, folks, as you can guess, plane, 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 wiggle, 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 come on, guys. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yes, I could hear that. But they are at where we were before, and not where we're at now. And let's keep on wiggling and changing speed. Shh, shh. I can barely hear that. Hey, 
Headphones are definitely an advantage in this game, guys. There's two ways to know when you're out of danger. One, if you try to time compress and it doesn't go over a certain time, you're probably free. Two, when that guy stops looking worried. Nope, that was definitely a death charge, but it's nowhere near us. That guy's no longer worried. He knows where the plane is. <clears throat> Or he's suicidal. I don't know. I can't hear the plane anymore, though. I can hear the death charges. Probably because we're under 20 meters. Well, our luck was running out anyway. I mean, technically, it's 1930. Um,. My last uh, report to you guys was around noon. So we've gotten away uh, without being spotted for pretty much um, you know, around seven hours. Not bad. And it's almost nighttime outside. So whether that plane likes it or not, he's probably going to have to give up. But uh, we'll stay under here for about a half an hour. I'm gonna do the regular half hour. Whoops! Hmm. I didn't know I could actually. <gasps> Where's my feet? Where's my feet? Oh, I hit the mouse by accident, guys. Sorry. Uh, but we're gonna stay out here uh, 20, 100 hours. Uh, not. We're not gonna stay under 20 hundred hours. We're gonna stay under till 20 hundred. You know, it's 1933 right now, and we'll stay under till. Uh, Yeah, yeah, there's nothing outside to keep us from uh, being spotted, so. <clears throat> so we'll just stay here for about half an hour. Maybe near the end I'll stop and listen in, see if there's any, uh, you know, destroyers on the way. Peek out with the, uh, you know, periscope. Well, I'll see you when it happens. Okay, folks, welcome back. It is 200 hours. Uh, excuse me, 20 hundred or whatever. Um, so I'm going to listen in. We're going to bring us to a complete halt. We are at 20 meters, which is perfect <clears throat> for hearing sounds around us. So uh, I'm going to take over this guy right here. Yes, sir. Current speed, zero knots. Turn the engine off, guys. So before we surface, I'm going to make sure there is absolutely nothing within my hearing distance or his hearing distance. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to go to periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. which is about 15. In this this perfect weather, I'm not even going to tell them to go higher than that. We're going to stay at 15. <clears throat> what, really? Yeah, I like, like the current speed to be exactly zero. Because uh, I don't want... Thank you. I don't want the periscope making waves. Now you must understand, this is a habit I picked up while playing Hunter, uh, Silent Hunter 4, just peeking up. I really don't know if I could see a sh an airplane before it sees me, or if I could see an airplane far enough, you know, it, 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 we're both using our eyes. I mean, an airplane is hunting for some reasons with its eyes. It's probably going to have a harder time seeing me than I'm going to see it. 
but there is no guarantee that I can see from a periscope a plane on the horizon. <clears throat> um, better than I could see, for example, if I was on the uh, conning tower with binoculars. So, this is really throwing, uh, spitting against the wind, you know, throwing dice, uh, butter, whatever you want to call. This is, um, you know, putting salt, throwing salt over your shoulder. You know, this is, this, this really hasn't been proven. Uh, uh, so far, I have not been attacked by a plane while peeking up yet. Mostly because I assume that they have a, a, a fuel limit and they can't just stick around. Now they could call in another plane or they could call in a, a boat, a ship, but hopefully we've been moving and we've been playing around with our s speed and hopefully the way they saw us and the speed we we're going at is no longer something Stay above the water. Stay above the water. All right. All right. Suns. Okay. Just another sweep for good luck. That's a little fast, but let's see. At this point, if there's anybody out there. I'm pretty sure they'd be attacking me. All right. Your periscope death. You're getting tired already, that's a bad sign. You guys were kind of fresh when I put you out there, I thought, but... You out there. Tell me what's going on, tell me what's going on. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Let's not go such a straight line here, okay? Alright. I'll see you guys once again. Something happens. Hopefully nothing does, but Alright, alright, aircraft spotted, aircraft spotted. Go under. Go under. Go under. Barely an hour later. Good God. Go under, guys. Go under. Go under now. Under. Okay, I don't hear it hitting us. Okay, there's the electronic engines kicking in. Electric engines kicking in. Basically the batteries. So, basically an hour later, we're under the water again. Okay, well, we heard the plane. I don't hear anything, uh... Why you guys look so comfortable? See? That doesn't make me comfortable. 
That makes me feel I'm in trouble. Except, I didn't hear the plane when it dropped. Which means, it dropped someplace else. <clears throat> it's already lost us. Yeah, we're going down to one knots, guys, because that's. We don't want the battery to die. So, we'll be under here till 2130. Okay. So, I guess I'll see you guys again. Uh, I'm going to keep it from time compression for a while so I can. Here, if there's any more, you know, things dropped. Luckily, it's going to be night soon. When that cut comes, when that nightfall comes, it's going to be slightly harder to find us. But the big problem is that we're going to be. Probably as close to English ports as we ever been. And deep, real deep in the most heavy traffic waters. I mean, we're right now we're deep in their waters right now. I mean, we're in the English Channel. We're pretty much as dangerous waters. This is the most dangerous waters we could get into right now. Outside of, <clears throat> excuse me, outside of going up the Thames. So, um, or sailing right into New York City. So, I'll see you guys if it happens. I'm going to wait for a little more. If I don't hear any bombs, I'm going to try to try, uh, time compress. Okay, folks, it is 2130. What we're going to do is stop the boat. Yes, sir. There you go. We're going to uh, listen to sonar. And then we're going to go to uh, periscope depth and peek around. It is nighttime. I probably won't see a thing. But, <clears throat> excuse me once again. Let's see what I hear. You can see here, since we have the updated one, it doesn't have the problem in front and back, but this little fade here does alert you to the fact that listening behind you, there is a shadow. There is probably a gap. Alright, nothing's going on. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. <clears throat> So now we just wait till we get to periscope depth. We are zero. We have a, a some speed still, but um, <clears throat> by the time we get up there, it should have uh, leaked away. In fact, now it's zero knots. So <clears throat> we should be nice and invisible when the periscope pops up. And I doubt I'll be able to see a thing, to be honest. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Or I could use page up and down. But, yeah. Come on, guys. There we go. Oh, cloudy. Oh, lovely, cloudy. Come on, come on. 
It looks like there's getting a little wave action too. I don't see any moon or sun. How's the weather out there? Yes, sir. All right, fog light, perception overcast, overcast. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks overcast. I say go for it. I say we go for it. Hmm. Those guys are uh, passing out on me. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of guys who need rest. Oh boy. All right. Come on. Oh my god, you're both both you guys are exhausted? No, oh, come on. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. Yes, sir. All right. You boats, you guys go here. You guys go here. Those who have rested, go into the torpedo room. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. How are you guys doing? How are you? How are you? Oh, boy. All right. And let's get that charging. All right, yes. Yes, well, nine knots is what I want. Yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. Oh, yes. Oh, this weather will be horrible for hunting. But it'll also be horrible for hunting us. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, guys, I'm going to rest and uh, get some shut-eye, and then I'll see you when uh, something's happening, okay? Good morning. Good morning. Ha 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 Look at this. Oh my god, this is wonderful. I'd like to see anybody try to find us in this weather. You can't see anything, can you? Which means no. Okay, good. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. We'll actually become within visual range if this was good weather. Which it, well, it's not, but. And not actually even visible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's probably going to be boats patrolling this area, but, uh. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Alright, folks, it stopped raining, but look at this. Horrible visual weather. But still perfect for us to be able to use our, our ears and something else. We should now be in the zone. Let us see. Let us see. We are now in grid BF21. So what I'm going to do... Um, hmm... No. <laughs> Come to a halt. Current speed zero knots. We want to stay within our p 
pattern. Okay. I I'll, I'll I'll do the I'll do the thing now. First of all, <clears throat> they're coming this way. So we we go this way like this, and if they're over here, oh see, look there's there's one right over here. Southwest. Slow. So they're going this way. We go like this. If we go like this, they'll be over here when we're over here and this, that, and so on. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do something like this. So we either catch it coming or going. Oh. Really? Come on. So, yes, follow the course. Yes, sir. So, they're coming out this way, and they're going out to sea. So they're coming this way. If we spot them, we could turn around or head right into them. Or they'll be coming from this direction. Once again, we'll spot them, hit them. Because if we're going like this, I have to rearrange and everything. This is uh, probably not the best pattern. I'm not an expert veteran of World War II. I'm way too young for that. Not a veteran of Vietnam War. I'm way too young for that. But, um... Uh, I could be a vet of the Desert Storm, but I'm not. Um, but I'm hoping, logically, these plan the all these ships are coming out this way. And they're going like that guy. They're going to go right through here. So we're either going to run into them, or we're going to run alongside them. Because if we're doing stuff like that, what he wanted, we're going to be over here when something's appearing over here, and so on and so forth. So that's going to be the end of this episode, guys, because I'm just happy to have gotten here alive. So I'll see you next time uh, when we're going to be searching and probably, to be honest, dodging quite a few planes. I'd be surprised if there's not airfields here and maybe even an airfield around here. Oops. No, I don't want that. Yes, fall plotted course. Well, I don't think they could see us in the storm anyway. But uh, I'll see you guys next time.